Hello and welcome to another video from Wrong Day Life Is Not. I apologise for my absence. But I've had some personal health issues which is why I've not been able to come. And I'll have to apologise for any wheezing or breathlessness that I'm having too. I'm here with a quick project. It's well overdue for filming. It was a lap book challenge from Carol Tinson, the Crafty Emporium, last month. She shared a PDF and she's got some files uh, with photograph instructions on how to follow to make these. It's um, made out of manila folders, but you can use any other folders. Mine are slightly different sized to the ones Carol's used. Mine are for A4 papers, so there was just a slight adjustment that I had to make. But Carol uses five of these. I've used all six. Now, what you create is something like this. So you have a flap here. I hope I'm, this is all coming in view. Um, I apologise, but I'm not able to see the screen on my tablet because I've got it placed quite high up with it being a larger project. So this comes here. You have a flap here. These three flaps I found difficult to decorate, come up with ideas. Not because it was hard to come up with ideas, it's because there was too many ideas and I didn't know which one to uh, use. This comes out and folds out. And then you have this one too. Now this here is a pocket where Carol recommends either a line of glue down the middle or two so you've got three pockets but I left mine as a single pocket. When you close all these up, turn it around, you have this flap here with a pocket inside. Inside there is my uh, extra piece left from the fifth um, folder and also the other one as well which I hope to use to decorate this one again. So uh, using the sixth folder, so that's what we end up coming up with. So the way I decorated it, which was the challenge on how to decorate this, this is what I came up with. So I've decorated with 12 by 12 scrapbook papers and things that were just lying around in my stash. I can't remember the name of the paper line that I've used, but it's a rec from Recollections possibly called heritage or something to do with time because it was an antique looking paper anyway. So the way I've decorated it is, is lace around here, you've got some bronze coloured embellishments, wooden frame, uh, distressed doily and some resin flowers from my stash and these, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick up but I think that was from Recollections as well or Prima some swirly bling. On the side here I have created a small detachable journal charm, key charm. It closes with a uh, black ribbon but it does have magnets in as well and that's the back decorated with a bronze piece and a tassel. I'll get back to that. I've also just re reinforced the edges with some brass corners. So we open that up this is kind of like the naked journal styles where you've got lots to do which you, uh, the recipient can do, uh, do themselves. Now I've created these drawstring flaps. I'm not sure of the correct term for them. Pop some brads in. You open these up. Now this is my first where I use my first flap from those three that were on the side and that's used there. I've added some black punched card there. This pockets here that contains Artemis and all the scraps left over from my project. That's actually from Tsunami Rose. These, these policy envelopes inside there, there's some tea stained paper. There's a tea stained index uh, card there. I've added lots of lace. These are all magnetized and they contain pieces of, uh, I think it was coffee dyed paper on these, in, inside these ones. But as you can see, you've got space there to add journaling or pictures as well. I'm sorry if my head's coming in the way as well. This side, 
I put, uh, put some slits in the scrapbook paper before I attached it so I've got pockets here and I've popped some scraps into there so you can use them as journals or create tags and things like that. There's a tsunami um, library card there, tsunami rose and there's these little cutouts from tsunami rose as well. I didn't glue them down so that you could use them as note cards and you have a little bulldog clip with some charms on that. There's another charm on the other side, I'll get to that when we get, get there. So inside, the, this is using scrap, uh, scrap envelopes that arrive in the post. I just decorated it with paper. I think I used double two envelopes. Oh, I, can't, I can't remember properly, but I think I used two envelopes. So you've got a pocket there. You've got a pocket here with the tags. You have another pocket here. And then you also have a pocket in the front here. And that has some metal embellishments as well there. That's the same for all three. If you wanted extra space, you could just slip the top of the envelope there and then you'll have a pocket inside. Over on this side, you have a double pocket. One's behind the scrapbook paper, and one's behind the flap. And then you have coffee, uh, tea stained index cards, some lace along here, and then I've added some bullpins pins with beads and charms on the top and the bottom envelope. There's none in the middle, so you could add something there yourself. In the middle section, I've created this. Um, this is the naked you know, that I was on about. It's not stitched. I was going to stitch it up, but then I liked the cover so much. I thought, what if the recipient does as well? So I want it to be refillable. So what I've done is on this side spine, I put two eyelets and I put some elastic through it. So the covers and, and the papers slide through that and through the third flap that we have. So that was the second flap and this is the third flap. So in here I've got coffee stained papers. They've not been stitched in. There's some scrapbook paper, ledger paper, some of the grease proof paper, vellum, old dictionary papers. And it carries on all the way until the middle. Here to cover up the writing I've just added a few pockets there so you can decorate them with the scrapbook papers provided or some of your own and that's the elastic that's holding everything in together that's that flap which I've attached to the third one and to just take on some of the weight from the larger journal and just a tsunami rose card there I created that um, altered paper clip as well I have a video tutorial on how to make these curly paper clips that's the tsunami rose one as well I've just paper clipped that in and all and that's a pocket there so metal embellishments and resin flowers to tie in with the cover. You could take this all out, you could slide it all out. I don't want this video being too long and I'm running out of breath already. So, In the middle section is another drawstring flap here. You open this side up and you have some metal charms that I put together. This is um, inspired by Nick the Booksmith. It's re uh, removable replaceable, refillable, however you want to call it. Just slid on a metal embellishment there, eyelets, and uh, put some string through that to tie up. Shopping list, to-do list, or whatever you want. On this side, you open it up. Another smaller policy envelope. These ones, I think, they were, there were two that were gifted to me through Happy Mail, and I think they're from Paper Mania. Scraps left over from my project. I thought, you can stamp out things like washi, buttons, brads, things like that, and put them onto the envelopes that are inside here. I've got two waterfall envelopes, um, flaps. This one has got those little tab thing, metal tab things with the brad. So you just pop it up, you put your samples in there and you can label on there what it is. Or you could just use it for pictures or journaling as well if, if that's more your thing. So that just, those just all flip up. And the other, the other one's exactly the same, just larger size envelopes. And instead of this metal tab, because there wasn't enough room, I've just slid a paper clip. Only reason being when you've, uh, you're turning the page over, you don't want them flapping around. This is the large pocket at the back, and it's got scrap paper left over as well. You can use these to back up your journal cards or make tags out of. That's for, from Tsunami Rose. Little Tsunami Rose postcards there, some leftover scrap papers, and two pockets here again. I've created a pen holder on this side. I was tempted to put another journal on this side, but it was quite bulky as it is. 
so I, I decided to leave that option out. These pockets, this is what I used, the extra flap that was left over from what Carol Tim, uh, Timson's video tells you to follow. I just cut it in half and placed them over here. And then the expanding uh, pockets, what the flaps that we put on the sides, what was left over from there, I just added them to the sides here. So every bit of scrap got used from the folders. And in here, the six by six papers fit in perfectly. So if you've got your own six by six papers, you can just um, stagger them along here so you can see what you've got and use them into your, uh, in your journal as well. That's the other side of the Bulldog clip, the other charm. It's got a butterfly charm on this side and it has a leaf charm on the other side. If we open that up, here's where one of my other flaps got used to create this pocket which was the very first um, piece we saw when we opened up this lap book. This side has a double belly band. Again, I've got scraps here, and I've got some six by six papers that fit there. And this one is a double pocket too, so you've got tsunami nose tag there and some of my scraps there. In here, I've included some of the coffee stain papers for you to use to back up on your t uh, tags and things like that. So there's a lot of scope here for of people to work from on their own as well and create it so it's more specific to your taste sorry fiddling about so that all that all closes together it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle like carol describes close your three flaps like i said before if you that, that journal's not in when you close it here i've in, included magnets along here so what happens is this will just close with magnets, but because it's got bulky, I've had to close it with the ribbon. Over on this side, when you open up this flap, you have a little pocket there, and inside here, there's four sheets of coffee paper as well. So that's that was my thing for the challenge. I know it's too late to enter the challenge, but it was really good to be able to have a go at this. I did it ages ago, but because of my asthma flare-ups, I've not been able to do the video. So I hope you liked that, and I hope you'll pop over to see um, Carol's video, and I'll pop a link to her Etsy uh, shop as well, so if you want to have a go at this, you'll know how to create the base. I'm going to pop this probably in my Etsy store, unless somebody wants to get in touch, just email me if you want to buy, I sell through PayPal and Etsy. So thank you very much for uh, visiting and I really appreciate you coming back to have a look at my videos.